Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome back to KT TV. I am KT and I am so grateful to be back. I know I haven't posted in a while. I've had some other stuff going on. So let me fill you in real quick before we get into this episode. And honestly, I this kind of just was an improv episode. I don't have, I just thought that going through a transformation myself right now, as far as career changing, self-belief, um, just really like diving all in on my manifestations. When I see the transformation of what I'm trying to manifest start to happen, I tend to self-sabotage myself. And I thought to myself, well, this might be a good episode on helping others as well with this, you know, cause we're all consciously awakening at our own speeds and with that a conscious awakening it's like a transformation and with me it's a lot of my old past patterns and stories that are coming up so that's what this video is going to be more about but I do want to let you guys in on what I've been doing in the meantime since I haven't been posting many videos so I would love to let you guys in on this I finally passed my real estate exam. I got my real estate stuff going. I know if you've been following me for a while, you knew I had passed, but I finally got my license. I am a licensed realtor now, and I am also a part of the realtors, the national realtors. So I am just like super excited. So I am a realtor, realtor, I don't know. I say it weird. I got an accent, I'm from the South, okay? But I am super excited about this and it is a new chapter in my life and with that it is bringing up a lot of my past. So we will just dive into this episode and like I said these are not scripted. I just kind of go off of my vibe, how I'm feeling and I do have some notes that I've wrote down because I was thinking about this episode and I wrote down some notes on how I've helped myself learn from these things that are coming up when you have like this trans formational period in your life and you're kind of shedding old skins so sorry my like blubber is falling out you know this belly had a baby so I am body positive and proud of my body for where I'm at at 35 in my life and I'm trying to only manifest better and that's why I wanted to become a health coach if you guys want more information on that it's down below in the description but let's go into this and the first thing I wanted to talk about is acknowledging the stories that you're telling yourself that's the one thing I recognize the most is what stories am I telling myself and for me personally stories of my past and just feeling like I wasn't worthy or good enough. And I know if you follow me for a while, it's kind of a repetitive thing, but it is what I struggle with is feeling worthy because I never felt good enough growing up. So I realize that these are the stories I'm telling myself and I need to shift these stories. And that's when we become aware. And when we are aware, we can change these stories and kind of learn from them and transition from them. Um, so like this, this is like, I would say the first step in acknowledging where you're at and helping yourself understand what stories are repetitively coming up and what do you not like about them and start to replace that with positive things about yourself because we all are uniquely beautiful. We all have positive traits and when we look within and not compare ourselves to everybody else which we're so programmed to do this is how you can really find self-love and that's also what i'm working on right now as well is really finding self-love for myself because i i've seen this repetitive cycle of me almost self-sabotaging my manifestations because I don't feel like I'm worthy for them. I don't believe in myself and I have to constantly challenge myself and to remind myself that I got this and I have gotten out of way worse than, you know, this is the best time I've, I've had in my life in a long time, a long time. You know, I went through many years of losses at one after another, after another, challenges and I wouldn't take back those days because they made me who I am and how strong I am now but when I was going through it oh my god it was horrible it sucked sucked 
but you know what? I got through it. And that's what keeps me going and always perpetuating forward and trying to become more aware of my reoccurring and my self-sabotaging habits because I just recently had that again, where I started bringing up old patterns and old thought patterns and old stories about myself. And I'm like, that is the old me. That is the person on autopilot that was, you know, people pleaser, always trying to make, you know, put others before herself. And now I'm finally coming into my own and kind of, I've always been a giver and now I'm kind of being a little selfish and it feels weird. And I'm like transitioning into this more, you know, woman who is putting down her boundaries and not feeling guilty about having boundaries because when we take our power back and we understand that we need to charge our own batteries and not try to charge our batteries with other people's exceptions of us this is where we become powerful and we take our own power back and then that's how we can shift our thinking and our perspectives and our awareness to more positive thoughts so that we can really manifest and create the life of our dreams because it all starts with what we think and i'm also reading another book that hits on this a lot and it's just like all these things like showing me that I'm on the right path, even though I doubt myself so much at times, it's so annoying <laughs> to say the least. It's so annoying. So one, look at and recognize your stories and what you continually tell yourself and think of ways you can change that story. And it can be stuff that maybe you don't believe yet. Maybe it hasn't really sunk in that, you know, you love your body fully. But I do, I struggle with body image myself. So I do, I have that as a goal to really be more body positive. I will look in the mirror and straight up just see all the flaws, all the wrinkles, all the other stuff. Instead of just looking at, wow, this body really provides me with this opportunity to live in this beautiful world, in this physical realm, to learn all these lessons and experience these things. That's what we should be focusing on, not so much the look. And when you get your mind right, the the image reflecting back to you kind of metamorphosizes if that's even a word if it's not it is now but (laughs) yeah that is just like the part of the transformation and i'm learning that with the more books i'm reading too about this is it really stems from how you think about yourself so be aware of the stories you're telling yourself and then um there's a lot of spiders around me, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm kind of freaking out, man. But that's okay. I saw a snake on the way here, too. And it's interesting because when I see snakes during, I see them during transformational periods in my life. Like, uh, I don't know, a couple years ago when I started my first vision board, I saw a couple, like a lot of snakes that summer. And I was also losing people in my life as well. So it was just interesting that it was like a transformational symbol, too. Now that that's a really crazy looking spider over there. Anyways, ah, okay, so stop the self-negative dialogue. That's something I struggle with too, like recently, just recently, even on Monday, I was just struggling. I'm not going to lie, I just was in a low vibration. I couldn't seem to kick myself out of it, and I now look at things and I'm like, oh my gosh, like why didn't you just you know, journal it out because that's what I normally do when I feel those emotions and it's recurring and it's just, I feel, you know, relationships changing, friendships changing and all of that. And it's just kind of, it's a lot to deal with process, career changing, like really having to believe in myself right now and really knowing I can do this. And, you know, and I know I can, I used to work my butt off for other people's companies and never get appreciated. And so now I'm going to do that for my own company. And for the company I work for, which is Bliss Realty, which I am absolutely, I am so grateful to be a part of their team. So also I want to say back on track, sorry, (laughs) getting off on the tangent is read daily affirmations, read daily affirmations. See, I'm freaking out about the damn spiders again because I saw more, but normally they stay away from me, but Really, I do daily affirmations. I haven't always done it. I've always listened to them, but I haven't read them out loud. And it does something when you actually speak them. So I've been saying them. I wrote out a list of all the things 
that I want to manifest, that the, the habits I want to manifest, things like that. And I literally light my incense and read them every day. It's been really helping change my mindset, even on those days where I just am like, I don't feel like doing this today. You know, my energy is really low. And I'm also noticing different things, like different substances, like drinking. It always lowers my energy. I get a little bit more depressed after I drink. So I'm cutting that out for 21 days. I'm on day four. So we are cutting it out completely for 21 days. And I will let you in on that journey as well. But read your affirmations daily. And if you need help with that, comment below. Let me know. I'd love to send you some that I use personally but they have to help change my life in dramatic ways. My next tip was give yourself love and compassion through the process. Yes, that is one thing I struggle with too because I'm a kind of a perfectionist. I am impatient. So giving myself grace through the process and giving myself grace through the days that maybe I didn't nail it. Maybe I, you know, let my emotions get to me that day, whether it was, you know, tearing up for something that really, you know, doesn't, matter in the big scheme of things or getting angry about something that really doesn't matter in the big scheme of things. So yes, definitely give yourself love and compassion. And then also what I'm working on. So guys, I literally just say what I'm working on, what's been helping me. And that's what these videos are really about is just trying to help you with what has helped me. Spiders, you need to stay the fuck away from me. Thank you. Um, so let go of outcome. The let go of outcome is the hardest thing for me because your ego has a certain picture on how it expects things to manifest. And when we get stuck on that, we then block our manifestations. So letting go of that and letting go of control and kind of giving it up to God is letting your true self, your divine self come through and kind of do those things that will propel you forward more so than just if the ego is just taking control completely and that's being more unpresent and unconscious in a way so being more present is letting go of the outcome and just trusting in the process and the universe and that it'll bring it to you is it easy no but i am working on this every day as well and the more i do those things that help which is what i'm trying to express to you today in this video yoga, meditation, affirmations, all of those things have helped me in such magical and powerful ways. So my next one, and this is another one I'm working on daily is gratitude. Just really having gratitude for life, for air, to just breathe, to just be alive, you know, because it's so easy to get bombarded by negative energy and just conflict and just seeing the scarcity in life it's so easy to do so when you have gratitude it kind of raises your vibration and you know even on my worst days sometimes it doesn't always help like shift that but I notice the more I think about it though it even on those days I do see a little bit of like I'm a little bit calmer I'm a little bit oh more aware than I would have been before I started this spiritual journey and doing all these wonderful, amazing things. So gratitude is a hu huge one. Um, release emotions in a healthy way. Here I am. I'm getting fucking weirded out. They're all around me, but there's none here. I'm sure there is, but... Uh, so it just release the emotions in a healthy way too that's also what i'm learning um running really helps me with that like especially letting my ego out a little bit and just releasing those frustrations that i get so for me it's running that could be doing art painting that could be doing something active for you that makes you feel the same way so also detox go out to nature is also really good ways to kind of help the transformational process really sit and meditate with your thoughts and really just kind of detox and cleanse and you know allow like I'll, even today I've been really remembering like how my life used to be and it wasn't the best for me at least I mean everyone else seemed pretty freaking happy but me I was struggling I was 
not freaking, it was not a happy life. It really wasn't for myself. I, I was, it was a lot of challenging things that I had to go through. And where I'm at today, I am just so beyond grateful. And when I start to complain about where I'm at today compared to like even five years ago, that's when, I, you know, it kicks in and I'm just like, dude, my issues today and what I struggle with today is way better than what it was just five years ago. And that's when I really started all this really committing to my spirituality and just really embracing who I am and loving myself in the process. And is it always perfect? No, no. I have my bad days. I have my good days. You know, my emotions are like a damn roller coaster most of the time, but I ride those waves. And even with my bad days, I always will turn them back around. And I always am a fighter. I always get back up no matter how many times I get knocked down. And that is just perseverance. And that is another way to just get through transformational periods too. They're just uncomfortable sometimes. They just don't feel good when they begin, you know. And it started right before the new moon that just happened, which is the new, the black moon. So it's like... I felt all that energy coming up as well with the moon cycle. So um, if you're feeling anxious, like I had been for a while, really come back to breath. That's why I started doing yoga every day. I literally, oh my gosh, this rock is kicking my butt. I literally started doing yoga every day and I love it. And I see what a connection it helps with my mind and my body and my soul and my thoughts in just how I start my day with that it's amazing how much my day is just it goes so much smoother contrast I don't get too carried away with either side of emotion I'm kind of a lot more aware and present in the moment so instead of like emotional and that's like the vibrational energy right now too is like there is a lot of emotional energy because of all the negativity that goes on in this world as well so um yeah so that was like really all I really wanted to talk about with transformations it's not a comfortable process I feel like that's why a lot of people just go back to doing things that feel comfortable because when you are going through the transformation process you have to do a lot of things that don't feel comfortable and you lose certain relationships and friendships along the way like not necessarily lose them forever like in your reality but like just you lose the way they used to be you know so just going through any kind of you know self-belief self-doubt like just really learning who you are it can be a transfer you know not a not an easy process is what I'm trying to get out it can be challenging to really look at yourself in those aspects and understand your shadow self which is what I'm learning to love and appreciate too because I know my shadow self is the fire in me why I keep fighting but at times I can let it overrun my life a little bit and I'm learning how to create that balance so Without me rambling on more and more, I will end this video now. But definitely, guys, if you like my videos, subscribe below. Leave a like if you like. And until my next video, peace, love, and namaste. Oh, and if you need a realtor or any advice in real estate whatsoever, please don't hesitate to reach out. I have a team behind me that has like over 28 years of experience behind them and we will give the best advice we can give so peace and love guys